हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू चेंज द ओरेकल डेटाबेस नेम इन ऑर्डर टू चेंज द ओरेकल डेटाबेस नेम वी डू हैव द एनआईडी यूटिलिटी बाय यूजिंग दिस एनआईडी यूटिलिटी वी कैन चेंज द नेम ऑफ डेटाबेस so there are three things that we can perform with this nid utility the first thing is we can change the database name only second thing is we can change the db name only and the last one is if we are in a situation where we need to change the database name as well as the db name db id that we can do with the help of nid utility so in this video we are mainly focusing on how to change the db name so let's take it practically i am setting the environment first name of my database is test db let me connect with the utility sql plus utility checking the database status and db id from v dollar database view so here database name is test db currently it is up and running and this is the db id i am just taking this in our notepad so that we can check it later on as we are just changing the db name here in this video this this part should be changed and the db id will be same after changing the db name okay in order to change the db name first we need to keep the database in mount stage before that i am checking whether my database is start with the sp file or sp file so to check the database we need to use show sp file okay so here i can see my database is started with sp file i am creating p file from sp file the thing is why we are creating this p file in our sp file our database name is test db see here our database is started with the sp file and currently in sp file our db underscore name is test db in that case what we need to do we need to create one p file and while starting the database while starting the database we need to make the changes to the p file because we need to start our database with the new db name we'll see it now okay so here we have created the p file from the sp file the first thing is we need to stop the database now shut down image it Okay, it is taking some time to shut down the database. Okay, now we'll start the database in mount state. Make sure you have to start your database with the mount stage. 
because when we are using the NID utility to change the database name or DBID, first of all it is checking whether your database is in mount stage or not. So now we have started the database is in mount stage. Okay. We are connecting to the NID utility. Now here I can see these are the parameters which are available with NID utility. Okay. So we do have target db name log file. I have a syntax here handy with me. Let me explain you what is going on. NID is the utility through which we are changing the database name or DBID. Then target equals to this is the username through which we are going to change the database name. This is the password for the system. For me user ID and the system password is same. I am connecting to the TSDB database. This is my current database name. Now I am going to change the database name with the new DB name. Okay. Here yeah, this is the most important parameter with the NID utility. The thing is if you are using the set name parameter equals to yes. It means to say it will just change the database name. It won't touch to the DB ID. So after we are changing this database name you will see the same db id because we have set here as a yes and this is the log file where the changes will be saved as a log file okay so i'm just copying this and pasting it here let's check the log what it is showing Okay, it is showing as login to the target database failed with the Oracle LA insufficient privileges. Okay, so our user system don't have the privileges to change the DB name. What we will do? We will connect to the database. Alter user sys. Oh, so before that, I have you. I have changed the database state to the mount state. So we need to open this database. Okay. Let me change the database sys user password. Alter user sys identified by sys only. Alter user sys here is a typo identified by sys. Okay. Now we are going to do the same operation with the help of sys user because sys is having all the privileges on oracle databases okay let's check the log file now oh now it is showing as database should not be open so as I said earlier we need to make sure that our database is in mount stage. Shut down. Now I am shutting down the database. Then we will start our database in mount stage. Okay, database is started with mount stage. Let's connect to the NID utility.
if you find any error you can see the same error in our log file okay so our log file what it is showing so it is saying that first of all it is connecting to the sql plus connecting to the testdb database now it is making changes to the control file we do have two control files here control 01 and control 02 then it is change, changing the name from testdb to new db in all the data files shutting down the database database name change to new db okay so as i said earlier this database name should be changed in control file data files even with the parameter file so we have already created the p files okay with this one we will just make some changes we'll copy this file with the new db ora okay now i am opening this file here you can see the db name as new db so we need to change the db name and we can also change the instance underscore name here there is no parameter as instance underscore name okay we will keep it like that only or else we can add the new parameter as new instance underscore name here so as of now i am keeping the same thing like this okay let's start our database with this parameter file sql plus as sysdba startup p file equals to okay i need to check what is my home path okay let me connect echo dollar oracle underscore home okay so this is my startup p file equals to this is my oracle home inside dbs folder there is one file where we have made the changes as in is in it new this new db dot ora okay okay i hope this is fine now i am starting the database with the help of p file where we have changed the db underscore name parameter with the new database name okay now database is in mount stage and if all goes good it will start the database with the new database name ok database is open let's check select name open underscore mode dbid from vidana database okay let me copy and compare with the previous statement so this is what see here previously the name of database was test db now it is changed to new db and if you are checking the db id it is the same right so we have changed the database name from test db to new new db here but still you can see the db id is same in next video we are going to change the db id as well okay so the next thing you need to create sp file from p file next time when you are shutting down the database and will start the database it will start with the sp file automatically i hope you understood the concept if you like my video please subscribe for training purpose you can contact me anytime
thank you so much in next video we will see how to change the db id as well okay thank you so much bye bye